Hey guys, Jen Mouse with AtoZDarts.com. We did a review of the Grand Board a little over a year ago, but things have changed. Online play is more popular than ever, and Grand Darts has continuously updated their app, so today I'm going to do a much better job explaining what this board is all about and how it may cater to your home board needs. Now, I mentioned before that I think it's important to note four key categories when reviewing a soft tip home board, which are appearance, build quality, user friendliness, and app visual design and sound. We're going to be adding a fifth category to the Grand Board review, which is, of course, online play, but before we get into that, let's start with appearance. What stands out the most to me is its minimalist design. It's sleek and structurally solid looking. The focus is all on the board. There's no additional lighting or features that distract your attention from your game. You simply have a light indicator to show that you're connected to Bluetooth and a player change button. The Grand Board originally came out with a red and green color scheme, but later they started manufacturing blue and red boards. So you now have two options for colors along with many new accessories that pair with the Grand Boards. We have Grand Board stands, wall bracket supports to make your installation easier. There's even a Grand Board pole stand out there now. There's everything. Let's move on to build quality. The Grand Board is not only stylish, but it's a very compact design. It's meant for durability and long practice hours. A truly unique feature is that the segments can all be replaced in case they ever get damaged. I personally own a Grand Board and I've been shooting on it consistently every day for a little over a year. I have yet to break any segments or wear them out, but in case I do, I know where to get them. We carry them on our website in all colors. Grand Art spent a lot of time working on build quality. It's apparent with its most noticeable features including noise reduction. Each segment has foam pieces inserted to help with sound control. This board was infinitely quieter than the boards I was used to practicing on. Another aspect of build quality that's incredibly convenient is the cordless power option. It takes two AA batteries instead of a power cord dangling off to the side. And you guys, this is low energy Bluetooth technology. It barely takes anything to power up this board. All right, let's get into the software side and talk a little bit about user friendliness. Grand Arts has released many new updated versions of the app and they fixed a lot of the bugs that existed in the beginning. Connection is more solid than ever, and the app is quick to connect to the board via Bluetooth and quick to start up games. Maneuvering throughout the app itself is smooth and fast. It's visually appealing, but it's not over the top with its graphics in order to keep your browsing and connection within the app efficient. Which brings us to the topic of app visual design and sound. The main splash screen is very straightforward and easy to navigate through. You have three main options, game selection for personal play, online mode, and the My Page tab that acts as your personal profile. It shows your stats, charts that show your progression in practicing and versus mode. It shows weekly rankings globally in your country and also within your group of friends or guests. If you look towards the very bottom right of the splash screen, you'll see a settings drop down menu. One great thing about Grand Arts is they offer a news and announcements tab so you can learn about new features, server maintenance schedules, and new products. It's always a good sign when an application has the ability to communicate news and maintenance with its users. The My Page tab is also where you get to customize your app. You get different wallpapers for games, you get to upload your own custom image, you get to alter the default award movies and the sounds of your marks and bowls. There is an excellent amount of games available within the Grand Board app. You have your standard O1, cricket, medleys, various practice games, party games, and animal battle, where if you feel like a little bit of competition but you don't want to deal with human interaction, each animal represents a different skill level. And if you guys want a quick example of that, I'll add a link in the description below where I shot against the gorilla in the animal battle mode. Okay, last but not least, let's talk about the newest feature of the Grand Board, which is online play. It is officially launched and enjoyed by the Grand Arts community out there throughout the world. Right off the bat, super easy access from the home screen to get to the online mode. You get to filter out players in your own country, globally, or historically, people that you've played in the past, or you could limit your online play to only your group of friends. There's also an online lobby. Within that lobby, you get to see the user's rating, status on if they're in-game or not, their number of online battles, and their country indicated by a flag. Opponent's live feed takes up the entire screen, which is an awesome feature because most of us use phones and tablets, so dedicating a large amount of the screen to your opponent's feed is very helpful. In 01, you get a couple options. You can play 501 or 701, and in cricket games, you can see your opponent's misses. This is important to give you context as to what they may be aiming for. Post 
game, you get to give virtual compliments and an option to rematch. And within that rematch, you don't have to choose the same game. You can choose between Owen and Cricket. Also, after every match, a feedback system is there to help you improve your experience. You're not required to, but if you do experience an issue, you get to let them know. So overall, it's just a solid implementation of home dartboard online play. To reiterate everything that we've covered, the grand board has a minimalist yet strong build, a stable application with constant improvement, solid online play, noise reducing pads, and replaceable parts. So if you're in the market for a new home soft tip dartboard, take into consideration what is important to you and what is aesthetically pleasing to you. This concludes the in-depth revamp review of the grand board. You can find this board at a-to-z-darts.com. We'll add a link in the description below. Please feel free to comment with any questions and don't forget to give us a like on Facebook to stay up to date with any new product reviews and dart supplies out there in the market. Thanks for watching.